Before I start my talk today, I would like to tell you what happened the day when I was told that I would be given a TED talk. I went on a binge watching set. I went on YouTube, scrolled like hundreds of videos, and I saw talks on motivation, on personal growth, the insights about things I really like about. And by the end of it, I was a learned man who realized just one thing. No one has ever shared their was on that dead platform. That is what I'll do. I'll share my words. An interesting but a very, very strange thing. I went to Goa last year. It was a fun vacation. It was June end. People were up was going on. I had a nice time to do things. Just three months after the vacation, one morning, I woke up to this message from a girl on my Instagram. Hi, I said, finally found you. Hope you still remember me. I was perfect. I opened her profile. She had a big body name, about a thousand followers, a couple of posts, and I was sure of one thing. I had never seen that thing before in my life. So I texted her this, but you should not text from any speaker, any book ever. And she replied to this. We met in Goa, June and Tito's day, remember? And the follow up message was got a bit more confusing. You came with your friends and uh, we went and you went in the car group to say you were stacking the child at the club. That thing did indeed happen. You're a group of guys, let's be stacking the kids at club system. So we approached a group of girls, we went inside. But the previous thing is, she was not one of the girls in that group. Now she was open. So I went through her profile again, um, scrolled down a bit, and found myself dragging down to this mystery. Because she had posted a selfie from the same club at the same time on the same day that I was in the I texted her the same and this time, obviously what happened. He said, you know what? Forget it. I thought we had a good time today, especially since we were the only ones who were jumping and fortune was crowded out of the world club. That is being specific. Because I was actually jumping and fortune was crowded out of the world club, being messy forever. Um, how would she know all of that? Because I had never even met that woman. So I went to work with I decided to observe her face a bit more. She had this long, dark brown hair, um, plainly parting off the middle of her head, falling down on her shoulder, bouncing off, falling all the way back. She had these angular eyebrows, the amazing nerves, the big nose, and the most amazing, amazing colored eyes in the world. She was a woman no man could ever forget. Why could I remember the same just when I thought that she was not getting more of his job, he sent me a picture. It was a selfie, a uh, bit hazy, a few of his mouth face. Behind her was a group of guys in town. One of them. How would you miss it? But never, ever remember. That is the biggest mistake of I'll solve the mystery for you guys. Tell you the truth. The truth is, she was never happy. The truth is, she was never happy with her. The truth is, she was never in the world. In fact, the truth is that she does not exist. Because everything that I have told you so far is a lot. And it means a story. But then, before you start going to shoot at me, that why did I just wait four minutes on a TED talk telling you the story? <laughs> um, this little thing that I turned out in my head one more morning, which when I had nothing to do with watch, um, I posted it online. 
on Gora. Within a few hours, it had over 150,000 views. One little story in your head. Click a button and it goes back. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Vyash Mitra. I'm a novelist, a storyteller, and thus it is my job to narrate my main themes in a spectacular fashion. And before I, like, the topic of my speech today is how I use the power of the internet to change my dreams. By a show of hands, how many of you know this website? Uh, Quora, the biggest question and answer platform in the world. You will ask questions, answer, exchange ideas. Right? And it is on this website that something magical happens. Again, by a show of time. How many of you know this guy? Sherlock Holmes, right? One of the most iconic movie characters, fictional characters of all time. And how many of you know them? <laughs> the Joker from The Dark Knight. One of the most iconic movie movies of all time. So, some bright soul sitting somewhere on the planet Earth that may got this, because I don't know who he is, decided to ask this brilliant question, which literally changed my life. What would happen if Sherlock Holmes meets the Joker of the Dark Knight? Intriguing question, right? I wrote something on Quora, I posted it, I closed my laptop, I slept like a baby, I woke back up in the morning. Only to find that the piece which I had written the previous night had went viral. All of a sudden, it had thousands of views. All of a sudden, people were liking it, people were sharing it, people were commenting about it. All of a sudden, I started getting messages from people that they have never read content like this before. I was like a broke man who just discovered a mountain of gold. Because I could create many, many such pieces. So I ended up inventing, which I proclaimed, a genre called fictional crossovers, where it describes situations of what would happen if an iconic fictional character from one universe interacts with an iconic fictional character from another universe. So I ended up writing more such I wrote what would happen if Harley Specter from Suits in Sherlock Holmes, or Iron Man in Sherlock Cooper. <laughs> Or the last of friends, we the last of how I met your mother. That's the dream key back there, right? And I wrote many, many, many such pieces. Eventually created a blog called Fiction Words, which currently has viewers from over 65 countries. All of a sudden, I had followers in the thousands and views in the hundreds. All of a sudden, I became mildly famous internet star. All of a sudden, I discovered the power. And it changed my life. I was a cliche by growing up, a shy guy who used to run away from social situations, where he would get into his room and spoke in his world of books, get lost in the battle. And just like that cliche, I always wanted to be a writer. Now, I actually had thousands of strangers online who were messaging me for the thing. I was like, brother, hold my beer. The next two months, he went by like this. All that I could remember is that I was typing something on my laptop, and it would be four in the morning, and my eyes would be burning, fingers would be cramping, and my mind would sometimes just black out. But the result of that paper of two months was this Secret of the Pilot Print, a book which I wrote. One thing is, it was published on 19th October 2017, exactly two years ago. Business. You don't need a million followers today to chase your passion. And isn't that what everyone else is doing? You want to be a singer? Good, but start a YouTube channel. You want to be an artist? Awesome. Go and start an Instagram handle. You want to be a master level troll? Great. Go and start a Twitter handle. Trust me, the world is waiting for it. Happen. You can be a dancer, a culinary genius, a political commentator, anything. All that you need to do is to find a website or an app where you think you can get audience interested in your talents and then you can start using your passions like anything. This wonderful woman, my mother, 
she's an artist. For 25 years of her life, she just made paintings for herself. She was growing up in a town where people do not understand the sea of charcoal or fear or paintbrush. Soon enough, she found the power of it. A couple of years ago, she started a practice on the art galleries and she started taking pictures of her paintings and uploading them on the internet. <coughs> Eventually, again, by the power of the internet, the buyer started finding her way to her art. Today, she has exhibited in cities like Paris and Chicago. She has held solo exhibitions on the finest art galleries in the world. She made her art then and she made her art now. All that has changed is that she discovered the power of it. And it changed everything. I really like this word, viral. Just like a disease, it crawls its way across people's bones. And before you do it, your content is actually embedded in millions of one viral post turned to several. The first 10 likes turned to 10,000. 2,500 views and 25 million in just three years. I went from being the guy with stories in his head to actually sharing those stories with millions of people. Ladies and gentlemen, power of